Hey, how's it going everyone? Disgaea Hour of Darkness was first originally released for the PlayStation 2 back in 2003. Disgaea 1 Complete is a remastered version and it's the fourth re-release of the game. Each new port has added new content that was previously not included in the original PS2 game. The PSP port, Disgaea Afternoon of Darkness, was released in 2007 and added the most changes, such as 16x9 widescreen support for the PSP resolution, online battles, which no one used, but still, it was new content, and a new Etna game mode where she becomes the main character after accidentally killing Laharl. In addition, it included a new level in the Cave of Ordeals, Demon Hall Mirror, as well as three new non-playable characters, Rosalind and Adele from Disgaea 2, and Zeta from Makai Kingdom. Plenty of quality of life improvements were also made such as animation skips and dual audio, which was nice because post-game scenes lacked English voiceovers. Disgaea DS was released a year later with more additions but the Japanese audio was cut due to limited cartridge storage size. Zeta, Rosalind, and Adele, who previously could only be fought, can now be recruited along with Planair, the Dark Assembly NPC. In 2016, Disgaea PC would be released with many problems and lacked the content the DS version had. However, patches would later fix that. But the idea is PC officially added nothing new to the table except for trophy support. And here we are now in 2018 with the latest re-release of Disgaea, Disgaea 1 Complete. So let's take a look at what has changed. Spoilers. Not much, so I'll go through this pretty quickly. The biggest thing you'll notice is the HD graphical update. The user interface has been completely overhauled and there are new character sprites which look great. With the new sprites, many character and monster sprites have been updated to reflect the newer used models. A few are worth mentioning though as they've completely changed. The thief is no longer male and uses the female models which are used throughout the Disgaea series outside of Disgaea 1. Galactic demons have been replaced with Basiels. This is most obvious in the best grind spots, Cave of Ordeal 3 and the Demon Hall Mirror level that appears after you recruit Adele and Rosalind. Trents were replaced with Shrooms. Winged are now replaced with Imps from Disgaea 5. Manicores were replaced with Skeletal Dragons. Shadows were replaced with Death. And weapons have also been reskinned with the newer models, such as Yoshitsuna being a blade with runes and a lightning aura rather than a lightsaber. Going over every weapon would probably require a video on its own, so I won't do that here. In terms of literal new content updates, we have a few new playable characters. Crimson Red was previously only obtainable in the ports, but was only unlockable through multiplayer. His class was dull and his aptitudes were all at 20%, making him the worst character. This guy when complete adds him along with his only two friends, Crimson Blue and Crimson Yellow, as playable characters with normal aptitudes and a real class. Asagi is the only other playable character that is new. These characters aren't very useful though, as they're monster classes and don't really have that many unique abilities, or have none at all. A couple of quality of life improvements were also made. The Dark Assembly has two new builds, Strongest Enemies and Weakest Enemies, allowing you to set the max level or min level with just one bill. You no longer have to go through the strokes of raising to max with 20 bills or reducing to min with 20 bills whenever you need to adjust enemy levels. Another quality of life improvement was made to the item world. Gates will no longer have geo panels, preventing those annoying situations where the gatekeepers could be invincible. There is also trophy support, but it's the same trophies as the PC version, so whether or not you consider that new or old is up to you. Alright, that's it. I told you this was going to be quick. It's a little disappointing to see so few changes, but it is what it is. If I miss anything, be sure to leave a comment to show how much more attentive you are. With that said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time!